Hi, my name is Toby Amis, and I am Head of Developer Workflows here at Refinitiv. Welcome to the next in our series of short, concise videos aiming to show you tips and tricks to get you up and running with Python coding to quickly and easily gain insight from Refinitiv content. So, over the previous videos, we've touched very lightly on Code Creator and Codebook. Effectively, within Codebook, you get access to a number of different APIs within this integrated scripting environment. The Icon Data API, the Refinitive Data Platform Libraries, Data Stream, and some, some more advanced examples within the modeling sandbox. But how would you find more information out about these APIs? If you want to find out more in-depth tutorials about the Icon Data API, for example, or if you wanted to understand what the different limits are of the API so you can use looping techniques and others to, to efficiently work within limits and get the best out of your experience, how would you do that? Well, what we would do is we would go to our developer portal. So let's open up Chrome. And we'll type developers, developers.refinitive.com. full screen and from the home page we can explore APIs or from the top we can explore use cases articles tools etc probably the topic for another video in this case what we're going to do is we're going to look through the icon data API very very quickly and in particular I want to show you a couple of key areas within here which will help you start to learn to use our APIs more efficiently so the first thing we see is an overview, but what I'm interested in is with a quick start guide. So that will give you all of the key pieces of information you need to get going and have some fun. And let's click over onto the tutorials. Where we can see some very in-depth tutorials uh, using symbology, retrieving data, uh, portfolio theory, and all of these have downloadable Jupyter Notebooks, which you can upload into Codebook. That will be the topic in another video. Just before we do that, I wanted to show you the limits information. So you'll find that in documentation. And under documentation, you can see the top entry there is Icon Data API Usage and Limits Guidelines. So a brief introduction to what our limits are. And then we can see you know, request per second, response volume per minute, and data points returned per request. In this case, 10,000 are all limits which help us to keep our service robust and help you to work efficiently within these particular limit guidelines. I hope you find that helpful and we'll see you on the next Tips and Tricks video. Thanks very much. Yeah.